Ahoy there, my hearties and dinky doo. It's just me, Scotty McClure, with show 108. We're live on the big one, Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. Lovely, lovely, lovely to have you all with us. And welcome, 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 I say. Now then, Sunday night, nothing gets past me. So much to talk about and so little time to do it in. Tonight, we're asking, what is the finest place in the world? We are a global talk show, so we might as well find out what's the finest place in the world. Dinky do, I say to you. Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, with you for one hour. One hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment. Good evening, Aljun, says Paul McCulley. Good evening, Aljun, says Scotty McClure. Ben Lucas says, hi, Scotty. Dinky do, lovely to have you with us. Hi, Scotty. How's your day? Says Diane Marchand. Fantastic day, Diane, and fantastic program. Thank you so much to every single one of you. 20,000 people have seen the show this week. Greg Drysdale says hello. Hello to you, Greg Drysdale. Lovely to have you with us. Hi, Scotty, says Michelle Dunlop. Hi, Scotty, says Alice Blakemore. Excellent stuff. Jacqueline McFarlane, evening with the biggest dinky-doo, dinky-doo to the biggest talk show on the internet. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I say you're watching Scotty McClue. About time to, where have you been? You're late, says Dino the Doug. Oh, sorry, Dino the Doug. I'll have to get myself a watch and stop using the sundial. So there you are, John Finlay. Did you do? Lovely to have you with us, of course. Scotty McClue, welcoming every single one of you worldwide. Tremendous stuff. Good evening, says Thomas Hamilton. Good evening, Scotty, says Christopher Love. Excellent stuff. And Lee Fern is watching. Tremendous. Now, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Scotty McClue is here. Hello, me old timer. How are you? Says Rob McDonald. Dinky you do, Rob McDonald. Good evening, my friend, says Catherine Murray. Good evening to you, Catherine. Lovely to know you're out there. Hi, Scotty. Hope you're well, says John Finlay. Thomas Cochran. What's with the best bib and tucker? You. You're with the best bib and tucker. The way you dress is a mark of respect for who you're going to see, and I'm coming to see you. So there you are. Gordon Roddick's watching Dinky Doo Gordon. Lovely to have you with us and welcome, welcome. Fit like Scotty, says Abby Duncan up in the northeast of Scotland there in uh, Aberdeen and Rindabut Fraser Brother Broch. Lovely, lovely. John Cumming, Dinky Doo. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Bonjour. Free Ferry Den, says Robert McHardy. Uh, hello, sir, says Joseph Gibbons. Hello, Joseph. Lovely to have you with us. Now then, Tonight, I want to discuss where would you say is the finest place in the world and why? Scotty, you look all puffed out. Oh, Reb, <laughs> don't start me. Hey, Scotty, the UK's well-dressed man, best-dressed man, I would say. Bertha King pattern watching and dinky do Bertha King. Lovely to have you with us. Will McIntosh as well. Come and join us. This is for everybody, this program. Let's do some sharing and let everybody know that we are here and we are dinky do. Now, I'm only with you for one hour, guys. So let's make it absolutely happen. Katrina McCarty, Dinky Doo, come and join us. Scotty, yes too, says Greg Drysdale. Dinky Doo, Greg, lovely to have you with us. Yes to everything, I say. There we are, just getting the other machines fired up. Swansea for sure, says Julianne Scott. She loves Swansea. I say, is Swansea better than Cardiff? I ask you, Julian. So there you are. I know Swansea is closer to the valleys, isn't it? Good evening, Scott. Here's this Atlanta Smith. Dinky do Atlanta. Welcome. Derek Jimmy Walker. Hello, Scott. Here. Scotland's the best place in the world. Says Christopher Jonesy Boy Jones. Now, Christopher, we are global. We are worldwide. We don't know that Scotland is the best place in the world because we haven't all traveled the world. Um, Julianne's got too royal, is it? Cardiff, I say. Is that not Carnaphron? I would say, where the Prince of Wales, uh, you would. Carnaphron Castle. Uh, you can't get better than Scotland when the weather's nice. 20 minutes drive from Glasgow. You have stunning lochs 
says Martin Monaghan. Lochs. Do you like the pronunciation there? Sitting overlooking the sea and cliffs on a wee bench at the top of St. Cyrus. Is that the, the nicest place? Is that where you are? Moffat, Scotty. Beautiful and peaceful. I know Moffat so well. The Moffat toffee. And down by the river there. Lovely. Yes. Get yourself uh, a wee bowl of soup in the rumbling tum. Very nice. Uh, apart from the weather, Scotland every time, says Catherine Murray. Now, Catherine, have you travelled the world? Do you know this? Right, a tiny, tiny outage there with the pressure of you all coming on. Angela Doherty, dinky do welcome to Scotty McClue, I say. Excellent and lovely to have you with us. What about Pontypreth? Says VJ Dukaram Pontypree. There we are. Pontypree or Pontypreth? Have I said it right? Uh, hope you're okay, Scotty. I love Loch Lomond. Loch Lomond says Christine McGarvin, says Scotty McClure to Christine McGarvin, Lomond, capital L-O-M-A-N-D, Alpha November Delta. Uh, Scotland's the best place to live, Lake Garda is the nicest place to visit, says Charles McLaughlin. Derek says there's rain here today. Oh, it's raining, yes. Is it raining where you are? Elaine Curry is watching. The best place is where you can get a cargo at half nine on Sunday morning. So there you are. So that's if you're in shipping, Rab, and uh, you would be the master of the ship, and you would be picking up your cargo at nine o'clock on Sunday morning. I didn't realize that uh, you were a seaman. There we are. Hello there, Scotty, says Elaine Curry. Dinky do. Scotland's the best, Scotty, apart from Wishy. It's a dump, says Matthew Roberts. Matthew Roberts, I'm not sure the Wishy folk will agree with you. How's your wee dog doing, says Thomas. Excellent, Thomas, thank you very much. Nearly 12, doing very well. Paul Maxwell's watching. Touch of the Adams ill tonight, guys. Mary Allen, laughing along there. Excellent, Mary Allen. Nice to have you with us. Dinky do from me, Scotty McClue. I can he spell Scotty, says Christine Garvin. Yes, you can. So there you are. And if you couldn't, I can always teach you. Not a problem, Christine Garvin. John Warren, a dinky do. You're on the ballot tonight, Scotty, top man. I think I'm on the ball, is what you mean. But your predictive text put in ballot. So there you are. If I was on the ballot, you would be electing me. Uh, looking very good. Lock oil heads, very beautiful and very peaceful. Billy Gillen, good evening, Scotty. Hello, Billy. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, Scotty. Shots should be the capital of Scotland. It's in the middle. It's certainly in the middle. Now, the capital of Scotland and used to move about, of course. Louise Gemmell's watching, Billy McKee, James Bauer, and Sharice Allison. Sharice has got, oh, Sharice, big love bits in your eyes. How fabulous is that? There's, there's love in your eyes, I say. Everybody, if you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on the big one. Tell every day. Spell it the way you say it, says Rab. So there you are. Well, no, we've done that, haven't we? There we are. Scotty, have you ever had a pizza crunch? There's a chippy and leaf does them. Uh, no, there's a little luxury I've denied myself up until now. Uh, hello from a big loyalist, says Callum Ford. Now, Callum Ford, what's the difference between a loyalist and a royalist? You see, Scotty, I'm a wee bit diff, so I spell it the way it sounds. I beg your pardon? Um, hello, Sherry says Derek. Uh, ten, tell, ten, tell, ten, 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 says Sherry. She's from Fife, so there you are. So I think enough said, enough said. Uh, how do Scotty McMahon, says Alan McGee, lovely to have you with us, Alan. I see you're putting more sensible stuff down. Uh, pizza Crunch is a heart attack waiting to happen. Well, not necessarily if you're into pizza crunch, you know. Um, John is here. I mean, poor souls. I've seen poor souls thin as a rake. Gone. Heart. See, what happened? Heart. I know one guy who died quite young, and I said to him, I said, he wasn't very old, he said. Uh, and I said, and he wasn't carrying a pig of weight. He said, no, 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 but very angry, very angry man. 
Oh, you have to be careful. Good evening, Scotty. How are you doing? Only one place should be Scotland's capital, and that's Glasgow. Mon the Weegees, says Derek Miller. Hello, sir, from the Taxi Owners Association in East Kilbride. James Bower. James and Lindsay there. Dinky do, James. Haven't forgotten you, by the way. Yes, yes, we shall let, we shall get round to that. Hi, John. How is it hanging? LMAO says Christine Garvin. Oh dear, I don't know what that spells. Lamaho, Lamao. Eh, on the left, on the left, eh, Chippy at Glasgow Central does fried pizza. Very nice. Eh, no, Fife, the capital, says Sharice. Well, Fife's a kingdom. So, as a while, since there's a king there right enough, but it's a kingdom, Ken the kingdom. Uh, when we get you back in the wireless, Scott, you're badly needed to represent the people I know, and we need to be taking the calls on the wireless. Scotty McClure, folks, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, and the holder of telephone calls to a radio station record at 460,000 in one Weak. All right, young man, says Finn and Kerry. Excellent stuff. Ronnie Stevens was watching an absolute top man. Dinky do. I don't know what you're angling for, because I know you're a fisherman. <laughs> a wee joke there, Ronnie, you know. Uh, Alex Glass. Everybody stamp your feet. So John Adams, here we go. Folk downstairs will not like it, but... Oh! Jumping about there. Excellent. Glasgow's the most populated city in Scotland. It should be the capital. Edinburgh prefers London rule, says Martin Monaghan. Well, no, I don't think anybody prefers London rule, but I don't think London wants Scotland to go it alone. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I'm not really into chippies anymore, so there we are. So it's greasy mints and tatties for me. <laughs> Donna Roberts McLeod. Evening, Scotty, says Ronnie Stevenson. Evening, Ronnie. <coughs> Lovely to have you with us, and thank you, do. I prefer a wee far for Brady, far for Brady, far for his put brackets, you know, because he thinks Scotty McClue will no ken who to say far for. There we are, far for Brady's. I've had four of them. Excellent, other one bag, you know. Hi, Gracilda. Uh, Luxembourg Radio, says Rap. Do you remember Radio Luxembourg? Wonderful, wonderful. I never actually got on to Radio Luxembourg. Because I was a bit later along. Can he be an Arbroath Smokey, says John Adams. Now, John Adams, am I right in thinking you can eat the Smokey just like that, just break him up to come down from the, the oak smoking or whatever, the oak chips? Scotty, listen, Lanarkshire needs a presenter like you. I'll put a word in, says Thomas Cochran. You do that, Thomas Cochran. Scotty McClue, the radio show, every night, dinky do the phone in. Um, Killy Pie's better than the Bridey, says Robbie. Excellent, very interesting. Sharice is all poor Lang faces. Why well, have you got Lang faces, Sharice? Yeah, just because you're free fife and you need a Lang spoon to sup with a fifer. Alan Brown's watching the wonderful Alan Brown. Dinky do, are you in Washington? Are you in Annan? Excellent. Uh, Margaret Mullen, Stuart MacDonald, and John Adams says, I, Scotty, you can eat the smoky. Just eat the, the smoky. Lovely. Aye, aye. Uh, uh, a peg in a cup, tea. A peg in a cup. So there you go. What's a peg in a cup? Uh, Stuart Buchan, Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, folks, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday night pop-up. Scotty McClure's Sunday night show. This is the big one. This is the one everyone's watching. This is the one everyone is talking about. One hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment for not just one nation, but globally throughout the world, coming from the heart of Scotland. Penate, eh, a penate, oh, a penate, a pe for your te, eh, Ken. There you are. Mark Montgomery, we're talking um, East Coast here, folks, so if you're wondering if you're having a job understanding, we should really have uh, subtitles when we're talking that. Can he beat a big... Kipper Scotty, it reeks the hoosu, though. Yes, it reeks you as well. Oh, dear. Sorry about that. Do we kipper for breakfast? Uh, so there you are. Uh, and a pen, a cup of tea, and, you know, a I can, um, so excellent, the kettle boiler. Uh, Millie Pudden, Scotty, that'll put hairs in your chest. Now, 
Are you talking a white pudding, a mealy pudden? All of a sudden, a big mealy pudden came flying through the air. Um, so there we are. Say hello to Lorraine McCluskey. Yes, we can. Subtitles I can, says Thomas Cochran. William Cameron's watching Diggy Do Right. Share time, guys. We need to wake this audience up. Big style. All right. Are all you jocks on drugs, says Ken Chavot. No, Ken Chavot, you mustn't judge everybody by the standards of those round about you. All us jocks gave you education. Excellent. Johnny M. Linney. Remember, Scotland had four universities when England had two. Remember that two of the top Oxford colleges have their origins in Scotland. Balliol and Oriel. Excellent. Uh, who's Ken? He seems to be famous. Done it, pal. Gun control in the USA. I, a bridey. Now, they're watching in America. America, please tell us about the gun laws over there, whether you think people should have the right to bear arms or whether you should think it should be like the United Kingdom where you need to be very heavily licensed of a gun and only people that go sporting have them. Yes, Scotland, oi, oi, says so Sirius. There we are. The Scottish Bobby used to walk about just armed with a wee stick. Sorry, I can't, I realise you can't see that there. About that. Excellent stuff. Uh, Scott, why are we called jocks? says Johnny M. Linney, right? Because we're all disc jockeys. That's why. Right, there's a clue. I'm going to start sharing, guys. I don't care what you guys are doing. Thomas Hamilton, can you keep off the talk on here? Because it's blocking the screen. There we go. An awful man. Right, I'm going to share. And uh, can you all do the same, guys? Let's have a massive share. Yes, we should be able to shoot here too, says Sharice Allison. Do you think so, Sharice? Do you think you should be able to defend your property and the gun in the house? I don't know. I think that's irresponsible. Uh, so there we are. Paul McCulley. Uh, I remember you, Scotty, a sandwich short of a toolbox. Yes, a very famous Scotty McClue YouTube. You'll get it on YouTube. Calvin Allen's watching Dinky Do. Right, I'm just going to share, guys. Here we are. Right, share now in public. That's it. Live now. That's gone out there. Scotty, you're the man. They took the guns off the North American Native Indians and then shot them, says Eddie Doby Sr. I think that's happened throughout the world with the indigenous native populations. Hi, Scotty, says Yvonne Hogg. Um, so there, Bobby's didn't walk here anymore. The chap your door, if uh, you've been sent the wrong pizza for this shop, do you hear about the woman that genuinely, genuinely dialed 999 because she'd got a mushroom pizza? She didn't like them. You're stout out and step it through, says Alan McGee. We always are, Alan. Nine o'clock, Sunday night, Scotty McClure's on. That's the big treat. And you may as well stick your tellies and your radios off because I'm on Facebook Live. A wee outage there. Uh, what's your opinion? Oh, we can't talk about that, Matthew Roberts. You cannot give an opinion when something's ongoing like that. Sorry about that, but there we are. Uh, and I, Well, I'm not sorry about it. You just, it's the law. You can't discuss that in the media. Scotty, I bet you're recording, big brother. No, Rab, I don't record anything I'm not in. If I was in it, then I would record it. Guns don't kill people. People kill people, says Paul McCulley. This is correct. But if they've got a gun in their hand, could they be trusted responsibly to say, I've only got this to threaten you, burglar, to go out the house. I won't be using it. Could people be trusted with that? Any news on the radio show, Scotty, says Thomas Hamilton? Um, there's always lots of news, big discussions ongoing. Expect a lot more Scotty McClure. That's all I'm saying to you. Hurrah for Scotty, says Mark Jippert. Dinky do, Mark. Uh, Scotty for Big Brother. I got into the final of Big Brother. I got invited along at the audition and get into the final of the audition for Big Brother. And for some reason, they didn't take me. They said it was because I'd worked in television. I would know what they were up to. Dinky do. Hello from Manchester. Glued to my clue with a glass of mango juice and Kendall mint cake. Mark Andrews. That's normally what you'd take if you're climbing a mountain.
out in the Lake District or something. John Patterson, thank you do, and Sharice is laughing her heat off. I'm going to share again, guys. You must do the same. Share to page. I'll share to the Scotty McClure page. Let everybody know we need to return to the old values, Scotty. Better days. John, yes, I mean old values. Very good. But a lot of old days when people really struggled even more, although we're back to them now. Uh, you're giving up live Facebook if you go back to the digeridoo, says Scott C. Fru. And uh, not necessarily. I've got my jungle juice, says Sharice Allison. I'm absolutely convinced of that, Sharice. Shared. Hi, Scotty. <coughs> Can you say hello to my mate Jackie Beatty in Belfast? Jackie Beatty, hello to Belfast, I say. Hi, Scotty, just been watching the film World War Z on TV with scenes shot in Glasgow City Centre, making it look like Philadelphia in the US, says the wonderful Gordon Roddick. Gordon, you are the master of film. I doubt there'll be many people know much more about film than your good self. So there we are. I never let my kids play with guns. When they were younger, I find them an evil intention. The guns, not the kids, of course. Absolutely, Jason Cunningham's watching. I think instead of giving a child a toy gun, give them a violin to practice, you know, and say, you know, no violence. It's nice, Scotty. It's cordial. Oh, are you talking about the program, Sharice? Or your drink. Jungle juice, that's what the net nurse used to put in your head, says Eddie Doby Senior. I doubt there's anybody watching Eddie Doby who will know about the nitty nurse. Uh, so there you go. John, I'm telling you now, red car date, says Sharice. Linda Sterling's watching. Welcome, Linda. Dinky doo, if you've all just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure live, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, saying dinky do to every single one of you. I'm going to have to share, and so are you. Come on, guys. Get sharing. Live now. There we are. Live now, right? And I'm just going to pop that out there, and that's gone out to one of the pages. Excellent stuff. And we've got another one. So get sharing and sharing and sharing all the time, guys. Michael McGuigan, this is show number 108. So there you are. You can't beat that. Or oh, is it 109? If I said 108, it might be 109. Good evening from beautiful Paris. The knitting nurse was a, with a big black comb. It's a very fine comb to see the knits. In your heed on your head. Done it, says Tom Salerton, world leader on the net. Yes, indeed, I thank you. Do you think Scotty McClure would make a good world leader? There you are. Share, 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 says John Adams. Share, 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 says Scotty McClure. And excellent. She is sticking her tongue out. How very fruit. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. Sorry, I just got caught sharing there. Excellent stuff. Can you all do the same? I have to look to the side. I need to sort this device out. Loving it, says Alan Brown. So am I, Alan Brown. You're a top man. Let me know where you are. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, Scotty, says Derek Miller. Last ever series of Still Game, and they didn't make Big Scotty on to sample Bobby's Pies. So there you are, a Bobby's Pie. I think I I think I would have been very good having a wee drink in the Klansman. So there you are. This is the best show out there. Reality TV is awful. Get Scotty on the box and the radio, says James Bauer. Now, that might be a good idea. James Bauer, I think, and I've said this to the television companies, they should get in touch with the radio stations and simultaneously broadcast the Scotty McClure show. So we have this going out on the television company and the radio stations, and we get the calls in. <coughs> I am not, says Sharice. You are not what, Sharice? Tiger Tim is still in EK. So James Bauer loved Tiger Tim. Remember working with him at uh, Radio Clyde on a Saturday evening, and he was so funny. And do you know what he said to me? This is the mark of the absolute top gentleman. He says to me, do you remember me? I said, 
Damn! <laughs> it's wonderful. And I always do that one funny people. I say, I'm not sure if you'll have heard the name. It's Scotty McClure here. Hi, big and agree, Scotty. I was in the clansman in Dunoon. And the owner's called Bobby. This is John Adams. Fantastic. Do you remember the boat? The clansman. Fantastic stuff. Right. Let's get sharing again, because we're only doing half a job here. Bairns and idiots should never see a job half done. Darren Toms is watching, Scotty, after my share. He's got the same bonnet as you, says uh, Matthew Roberts. Yes, Tiger's still here. <coughs> There's a clansman in Calder Crew, too. Or Cal is it Calder Crew or Calder Crooks? Tell me, come on. Come on, Paul McCulley. Fess up. Step up to the plate. Come clean. What's the topic tonight, says Nick Baldy. Nick Baldy, you should have listened at the very start. You would know the topic. We're wanting to know what's the finest place in the world and why. All right. John, you've got a perfect name there. Hi, Nicky. It's Cerise Richard Wood is watching. Scotty McGrew is doing some more sharing. Right, come on guys, get share, share, share. There we go. This other device is a wee bit slow. Uh, Calder Crooks with an X, says Paul McCulley. Right guys, if you ever see it, Calder Crooks, because if you say Calder Crew, they'll know your knee failure. All right, five, right, Sharice so loves five. Now, Fife is quite a large and diverse kingdom for what it is. The king sits in Dunfermline Toon. And what is the king doing in Dunfermline Toon? Who can tell me? Right? That's your homework for just now. Where's that, Scotty? What Fife or Calder Crooks? Calder Crooks is in, now, is it Lanarkshire or West Lothian? Did you like that? Do you see what I just did there? It's Calder Crooks in Lanarkshire or West Lothian. All right, that's your, that's your homework. Uh, GBX McClure in a Friday night class, Sir Ravel. Calder Crooks. So there we are. <laughs> no, it's not because there's any crooks there. It's That's how you pronounce it. Calder Crooks is in Airdrie. So it's in Lanarkshire. Excellent stuff. Uh, I know, I know, I'm correct, I'm correct, says Sherry. Shell's correct, Sherry. A fine kingdom of Fife, Cowdenbeath is the capital of Fife. Now, I always thought it was Kelty. So there you are. Crooks, says Sherry. No, they're not crooks, Sherry. They're from Calder Crooks. Glasgow, as the Scots are a friendly nation, says Yvonne Hogg. Excellent stuff. Right, more sharing, guys. I'm sharing to the Scotty McClure page, and I'm just going to put up live now. What time are we at? Can we all do the same? Come on, we're late with the share. Every single person watching now has to share, 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 share. And remember, I can see you if you share who you are. So you're, you're, you're dashed if you do, and you're dashed if you do, uh, but you're definitely dashed if you don't. Excellent. Right, Scotty McClure, there we go. Uh, a few miles past West Lothian. Yes, it's not far from West Lothian. Why is the Baker's Dozen not 12, Scotty? I would guess it's a Scottish thing. And when we ones with big families went to the Baker's... Now, I don't know this. I am surmising, right? But remember, I've got serious form when it comes to social history. And... Uh, <coughs> Calder Crooks is a North Lanarkshire so Scotty. Airdrie is twinned with Basra. I could well understand that. Dinky Doo Scotty says, Watch from Manchester. Scotty, you should get a signature series of hats. I've got them, Paul McCulley. Do you want me to replace my hat? Hold on. Let's replace the hat with the sea captain. There we are. Dinky do. How about that? Uh, working in Raintown, the Millbrook Country Festival, Saturday the 7th of September. Come and enjoy the music. I've even got Glenn Campbell's daughter, Ashley Campbell, playing a superb artist, I would well imagine. That's true, says John Adams. So there we are. So when people with big families went in, the baker would say, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <clears throat> 12, and there's one for your ma. Buckled, stop, 
Sir Shiris. No, Sir Scotty. That's a cool hat, pal. Everything I do is cool. I am the coolest cat across the universe. I can tell you that there. That's why everybody watches Scotty McClure live now. Come on, guys. Need to get sharing. Not sure how well you're doing there. We should have millions watching. Um, I'll fess up, though. We're 20, I think 21,000 of you. Uh, sorry, 22,000 of you um, saw last week. So there you are. That's not bad, is it? There are radio stations would give their eye teeth, and I mean their eye teeth, for figures like Scotty McClure's got on Facebook Live. Prefer the bonnet. You'll get a part in heartbeat with that hat, Scotty. Shared, says Wedge. I don't know that there's much C in heartbeat. You're the top man, says Thomas Hamilton. Did you ever do the ice bucket challenge? I'd love to see you do that. No, but there's a lady doing it. I've sent it round my Facebook page, and there's a lady doing the ice bucket challenge. Do you want the bonnet back on? You tell me. Wajahat, how do you pronounce his name? Uh, Wajat, just call him Waj. He loves that. So there we are, lovely guy. Philip Bogle's watching. Dinky doo, Philip, lovely to have you with us. Wadge just says, Wadge. I love that. You know, I'm just Wadge. I'm just Scotty. You can't beat it. So there we are. Humility at its very finest. Is it humility or humbleness? I get the bonnet on and get the squeeze box out. Says, uh, <laughs> so there we go. Excellent stuff. Just dismiss that. Scotty, you should listen to Rain Town Music Class Act. Says, right. Yes, indeed. It's live, says Paul Donnelly. Of course it's live. Live television. When did you last see live television of this quality and high caliber? I ask you. Brass Island, nothing beats the sight of an open sea, says Joe Onda. Joe Onda, where is Brass Island? Do tell, spill, I say. Right, live now, come on, you're interrupting my sharing with all your chat. Right, there it goes. Dinky do. Uh, Friday, when you were on, yes indeed, now Friday pop up. Absolutely tremendous. And you'll see the little figures down the bottom. There's one last week, the Monday pop-up. I think five and a half thousand of you joined me. How good is that? I've also done a music lesson for you. Done it, pal, says Thomas. Thanks, Thomas. My cat is setting about my feet. I'm going to swap this. Will I swap this for the bonnet? You tell me the captain's, the captain's hat or the bonnet. There we are. I've got it, boss. <laughs> Don't know about Brass Island. There's plenty of brass monkeys creeping about Glasgow Central these days. Derek Miller. Yes, it's called. I was sitting at the Central. Now, <clears throat> I work in a place, and when the cleaner comes in, I automatically lift my feet so she can get the hoover under. Now, I was sitting at Glasgow Central one night, and the guy came round, and he was sweeping up the floor. And I automatically lifted my feet without thinking, automatic, you know, just a reaction. I lifted my feet, and he said, we don't do shoes. <laughs> do you wear contact lenses, says Sean McCormick? No, Sean. I did. I tried them out in 19, uh, 1980. Yes, I had them in 1980. In fact, I maybe had them earlier. Oh, yes. Yes, I can remember. I lost my glasses in a sailing accident. They went to the bottom of the briny. And I got contact lenses in 70, 77 or 78. And I had them for about seven years, but they were a nuisance. They were hard contact lenses. They used to pop out. Uh, Christopher Anthony Swift, Dinky Do Scotty, Wifey Samantha has heard all about McClue's pies. Always say I to a McClue's pie. Cherise says Dinky Do. Scotty's the captain of our ship. Captain of our ship. Scotty's the captain of our ship. Captain of our ship, Matthew Roberts. What a lovely thing to say. Oh, captain, my captain. Excellent stuff. Two years before the mast. Anybody remember that? So there you are. Uh, Thomas Hamilton, can you not pop up with a hi there, please? Because it's blocking out the sharing. Excellent stuff. I uh, thought you were going to say... Hardcore there, Scotty. No, 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 no. That's for your driveway. If you're putting down gravel or you're going to tarmac it, you'd put in your hardcore first. All right, so they are. See, I'm a bit of a civil engineer.
Uh, McLeod's pies sound proper good, says so Paul McCarthy. McLeod's pies are excellent international fare. I'm going to change for the bonnet, guys. Are we ready? Ho! Oh, hey! So there we go. The bonnet's back big style. Uh, I need a shot of your towel, Scotty. I'm sweating here, says Sharice. Are you buckled, hen? I'll maybe take a shot of the clammy chamois if you'll just excuse me. Oh, there we go. The clammy chamois. The chamois. Touch of French there. Je regrette, mais je ne parle pas français très vite. C'est un peu long de mon. Peut-être je comprends. <coughs> Don't make his watching, dinky do. Okay, sharing, guys. I'm going to share again. Yes, it sounds like a serious talk that I'm going to share. I'll tell you any more of this, and I'll be sharing. There we are. Um, I have to get my something out. Your we out is there. McLeod's Pies, that's definitely a name with marketing potential, says Danny Boyle. It would be huge. Can you give a shout out to Cheryl? Uh, Caddy, a caddy, HMS Brexit, says Michael McGuigan. That'll be going to the breaker's yard, I'll tell you. My wife went in for an operation the other week to get her toes cut off just to get a near of the sink. <laughs> Terrible. Shocking. Shocking, shocking. We live in a society where the men do everything now. The kettle boilers, ask the Dundonians. Where did you get that bonnet, Scotty? I'll get one and do a show with you, says Derek Miller. Uh, got to go, pal. See you next week. Uh, next weekend, have a great week. And you, Thomas Hamilton, dinky-doo, cheery by the new sun. Have a lovely, lovely week, and thanks for joining us. Excellent stuff. If you've just joined us, folks, if I've popped up in your inbox, welcome, welcome, welcome to the World's Top Talk Show with the World's Top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet, Scotty McClure, saying dinky-doo to every one of you. Tell me a joke, Scotty. There we are. I heard a great one this week that's been doing the rounds. And it was, uh, if you work for the, the social security and you get sacked, it's the only job you still have to go in the next day. Uh, Scotty, what's your favourite Scotch pie brand? Bobby for the Klansman has to know. Well, it's got to be McClue's Pies. Now, they would have been good in the Klansman. So if there's ever any more still game, right? Excellent. He's got plenty of money, says Sharice. Who has? Bobby from the Klansman. So there you are. I don't know the Klansman will make that big a profit. A wee joke there, says Rab. You never know, Rab. Uh, Maria Thompson, how do you solve a problem like Maria? Lovely to have you with us. Maria. Uh, excellent. You make pies, Scotty. Uh, Scotty McClure's the chairman of McClure's Pies. Sure, he's one of the biggest pie companies in the world. Excellent stuff. Now, what have we got there? Uh, we're still sharing. I'm going to share to a group. <coughs> I'll just put live now. I'll share to my own group. What do you call a man half in the hoose and half out the hoose? Hamish. He's kind of Hamish. Do you get it? Uh, do you like Amy McDonald? Fantastic singer, Callum. Yes. Uh, where do you get a Scotty pie? Go into the bakers and shout out. Do you stock McClue's pies? Uh, Bobby's loaded. His pies were big time. Right, wait a minute. I'm just going to share to a group here, guys. Now, can you all do the same? I think it's very, very important. You must have groups that you're a member of. Well, get sharing right now. There we are. And uh, I put to the Scotty group. That's going up there. Excellent. And I shall just say live now. Excellent. Uh, do I put a, an exclamation mark at that? There we go. Yes, we'll try an exclamation mark, because that gives it one. Yes. Right. So this is going to the Scotty McClure group. Okay. SC. And up it comes. There we go. Scotty McClure group of fans. Have you all shared? I remember you used to advertise the Forge Market. I opened the Forge Market, and we were mobbed. Absolutely mobbed. What were the Corries, Scotty? Did you ever listen to them? I know every single thing they've ever brought out. Big fan of Roy Williamson and Ronnie Brown, of course. Roy was an old Gordon Stonian. He went to Gordon's school, perhaps the finest school in the world. So there you are. And there's a wee memorial to him up there. Wonderful. Flower of Scotland. Uh, done. We've all shared. Now, here we go. 
Excellent. Posting, 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 posting. Wonderful. Uh, Scotty is famous. Come on, so he's very, very famous. Yes, uh, there's not many people better known than Scotty McClue in the world. So there you are. Did Elaine C. Smith open the market as well? She may have done, Garen, but she didn't do it with me. Uh, I remember opening it, um, and uh, what a fantastic setup, and I'm still in touch with them. Wonderful. Uh, and I remember doing the advert for the Forge Market on television. So there you are. Oh, when they fech for Charlie. Oh, when they fech for Charlie. Wonderful. Uh, Sharice, she was with Rabbi, says Sharice. Rabbi Buns. Are you talking about Rabbi Buns now, Sharice? Who are you talking about? I'm going to share with another group, guys. I enjoyed that share so much. And just let them all know. Gordon Sterling's watching about time to. It was a bit late, Gordon, but I've no doubt Agnes was needing your favours. Uh, so there you are. Uh, Rabbi Nisbet. Yes, Rabbi Nisbet. I miss you on the radio. Good times. Always used to listen, says Wedge. Fantastic, Wedge. Well, you'll be listening a lot more and you'll be seeing a lot more of Scotty McClue. I can tell you. So there we are. It's all in the pipeline. Sharice has got the wee monkeys there. Four wee monkeys, Sharice. What's the fourth one doing? Uh, you also set up Centre Sound and Stilling, says Callum McMahon. I did, yes, and it's still going. Uh, 29 years later, fantastic radio station, Central FM. On the breeze of Kelly Crankio, says Derek Miller. Fantastic stuff. I can remember when we were setting up Centre Sound, and somebody said to me, does this guy know what he's doing? And um, one of the top men from Scottish television at the time said, um, tell me this, are you, are you hearing a radio station for Central Scotland? He said, aye. He said, were you hearing one before it launched? No. He said, well, there you are. That says it all. No, says Sharice. The barrels was brill, says Rabbi. The barrels are brill. Excellent stuff. Get yourself to the barras. Fantastic. Right, we're sharing here. Dinky doo. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I've got to close this. Somebody's wanting to talk. Is blocking this out. Share. Wonderful. Right, there we go. Uh, that's just popping up again. Who are the DJs on Centre Sound? Oh, we had many, Callum, very distinguished people who have gone on to great things. I think all of them went on to great things. Um, I commented and still gave something about doing the West Highland Way. So there you are. Don't know about uh, about that. I missed all that. Live, so Sharice. Of course we're live. Sharice, stinky do it. Scotty McClure, just for you. Julia Diamond's watching. Julia, Come and join us, my dear. Excellent stuff. You're all watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, and we've popped up just for you. You will never see quality live television like this anywhere else. There you go. When did you last watch a live television show and all the chit-chat? Got to work tomorrow again, so tired, says Wedge. Wedge, you get yourself off to Bobo's, get yourself off to your Margaret, rhyming slang for your Margaret Thatcher, your Scratcher. Speak to you later, Scotty, says Callum. We will, Callum. And dinky do, lovely talking to you. Agnes sends her love. She's hosting an Anne Summers event tonight. Oh, Gordon, I'll tell you. Are you not in there with your wallet out? So, uh, Wedge, uh, you're tired, pal. Time for bed, says Sharice. I know what you mean, Sharice. Um, I'm off to bed, Scotty. I'm cream crackered. I'll see you next week, says Sean McCormick. Bye, Callum, says Sharice. Good night. Dinky do, says Wedge. There we are. Everybody's off. Give us some hearts, guys. Come on, get tapping on your screens. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap. That's what I say. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap. This has gone on to the number of page likes today. 5,560 likes for the Scotty McClue page. How good's that? Good night and dinky do, says Wedge. Dinky do, Wedge. You sleep well, old chum. Excellent to have you with us. Now then, uh, I think Gordon was pushing it there. I think Agnes is hosting a party for well-known um, plastic dishes. So there we are. Uh, good night, dinky do, says Wedge. Tap dance, Scotty says Sharice, right. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap. Step, hop, ball change. There we are. The ball change used to worry me. Scotty, did you ever work with uh, the late, great DJ Tom Wilson? I did. 
I'll, I'll put up a photograph of me with all the Radio 4th gang and Tom Wilson. Fantastic. I worked on 4th 2 for, uh, ooh, about two and a half years, I think. I did the Sunday morning phone-in, 10 o'clock sharp. And um, I'll show you a picture of the late, great, great G D, uh, DJ Tom. Wonderful man. Lovely guy. What very, very hard, really knew his music, and uh, sadly we lost him far too young. I'm trying to introduce Agnes to some kinky gear, so there you are. Well, you're probably best to uh, strip down a diesel engine and show her some of the gears and let her choose which she thinks is the kinkiest, either the wee cog or the big cog, and then, of course, there's the crown wheel and pinion. Tom Wilson, a legend. I remember the day he died, Sir Sharice. Yes, lovely, lovely man. And his Scott's brother. And Scott's a lovely guy as well. What with Scott? Tremendous. Uh, Julia Diamond, how can we cure the hiccups? You need a fright, Julia. You need a wee, uh, a wee fright. So have a look at your electricity bill or your gas bill, and that'll sort you out right away. Scotty, where do you live these days, says Paul McCulley. Glasgow, Paul, somewhere in Glasgow, dinky-doo, up from Manchester now, down from Aberdeen, up from Carlisle, up from Newcastle. Gutted when he died, says Derek Miller. I know absolutely, because you were with a real friend who knew his music. A lovely, lovely presenter. So there we are. That's radio for you guys, all these beautiful people. Make sure you appreciate it. We don't have so much of it now. There's only a handful of presenters, but um, tremendous. Rob Randall is watching Dinky Doo. You carry whack a bit of any mentions a well known uh, plastic product. Uh, Bill Tennant was another nice man. I remember Bill Tennant. Do you remember the big car? Uh, STV1, a Vauxhall Viscount. It was a blue Vauxhall Viscount. And Bill Tennant in the back used to come to Murrayfield and things like that. That's when we had real stars in Scotland. Oh, you are awful, says Julia Diamond. Uh, Trevor Riley is still going strong, says Sharice. Excellent. I am very pleased to hear it. Um, the best there was, Sharice, says Derek. Hold your breath for half an hour. That'll stop the hiccups. Certainly. Do not pay any attention to that. That was for entertainment purposes only, says Robbie. Yes, says Scotty, about Robbie. Charles McLaughlin. Scotty, do you get one of those pies out to the wee fox? I used to drive the baker's van when I was a student. And I remember calling in at a scrapyard and I stopped the van. And the guy that owned the scrapyard's uh, waving me on. I says, I can't come on. Out the window, he says, how no? I says, the dog, big Alsatian, the dog's sitting in front of me. And he says, well, throw him a pie. That's who he's waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? How amazing is that? We've got a new Prime Minister in Australia, says Erica Meyer. Erica, you could even have another one by the end of the programme. At the rate you're going through them, I do not know what you're doing to your Prime Ministers, but how many have you had? About five or something like that. I can't remember. In quick succession, four or five of them. Derek, he's still going strong. He's playing last night, says Sharice. Absolutely, Sharice. Now then. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure. I cannot believe the time. Can anybody tell me what the time is in their clock in case this thing's fast? Uh, there you are. Scotty, you're the man, says Paul McCulley. Dinky do, Paul, I say. Uh, Vicount, best biscuits about. Do you mean something else there, Rab? I don't know. I don't know. Not heard of that. Anybody heard of the Garibaldi? The Garibaldi Biscuit. Um, tell Ted, cowboy time. Uh, it was Bill Tennant that did the Fanny Craddock joke, says George Mullen. Yes, thank you, George. Uh, yes, I know. It's superb. It was superb. And uh, when him and, oh, the Casio brothers, excellent. No, toffee yo-yos were best, says Sharice. Do you remember the toffee yo-yos? Excellent. And the mint yo-yo. I like the mint yo-yo, you know. Uh, everyone in Westminster we've had over the last 50 years have been useless. No, not really, Robbie. I think that's harsh on a lot of very wonderful, hard-working people who have done a superb job. Tremendous people in Westminster. Uh, what age are you, Scotty? 32, Julia. I just did a very tough paper round. 2157. Never 
I can't believe that. I love the toffee yo-yo, says Sharist. 10 p.m., says uh, Susan Forrest down in Lancashire there. Dinky do, I say to everybody in Lancashire, one of the original listeners to Red Rose Gold, the Scotty McClure phone in. Uh, you came on at 2109. We're docking your wages. No, 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 no. Busy, busy night tonight. Uh, I love this show. Thanks, Scotty, says Joe Onda. Joe. It's a great privilege, and you'll be hearing and seeing a lot more of Scotty McClure. All I ask of you guys is that you share, 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 share. I did a few charity things that John Toy was at. John Toy, another wonderful presenter, an actor. And John's father was a very famous uh, impresario into opera and everything. Another great show, Scotty. Love your show. Vienna Biscuits. Says Eddie Dobie Senior now. Were Vienna Biscuits the wee chocolate triangle? Yes, I remember them. Can I have a shout out for my boss, Darren Stevenson? He's a great guy, says Thomas Pidden. Yes, you can, Tom. Neil O'Gormley's watching, waiting for my song, says Sharice. You'll get your song, honey, do not worry. All good things come to good people. All good things come to those that wait. And there is some future out there for Scotty McClure. That's all I can tell you right at this moment. Thanks for having us your home, Scotty. Have a great week, says Charles McLaughlin. Charles, thanks very much for joining us. You're very welcome. Spot on, says Eddie Dovey Sr. with the Vienna Biscuits. Charisse Dinky Do. Time McClure wasn't here. <coughs> are we ready? Uh, so there we are. Tampi <laughs> very true, Scotty, says Sharice. Very true. Are you playing the keyboard tonight? Uh, wait till we see. I have to watch. I've got the Adam's Ale here. Mm. You never hear of a guy going round the, the streets shouting, 10 pence candy apples. Yes, Rab. And there was an old guy in Edinburgh in the 1890s, and he was the coconut man. He was in the Royal Mile, and he used to shout, Coconut, coconut, taste to try for you, by. Uh, please take the squeeze box out. The cries of old Edinburgh. Oh, my goodness. This nearly fell over there. Have we got it on? Yes, right. Um, I'm going to sing you the song. Are you ready? Uh, Scotty, says Robert Nelson, could you tell Gillian to get the tea on? Uh, see you after Scotty's Christine. See you, Christine, darling. Dinky do. Dinky do to every single one of you beautiful people. And uh, what a fabulous show tonight. The girl that wants the song. I've got a white jacket for her, says George Mullen. You get nothing for free nowadays. You do. You get Scotty McClure. But if you want to stick a fiver into uh, my PayPal, go to the Scotty McClure website. The guy didn't drink to news to shout, fresh whelks, mussels, and candy apples. Guy used to come round to sharpen your knives. Absolutely. There we are, sharpen your mind. That's what we're needing. Are we ready? Right, Scotty. Uh, <laughs> That's all you guys are in the nonsense there. The comments, honestly. Um, right. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of Wheater Zane, au revoir, and a cheery o. Scott, have a good week, pal. Be good till we meet again. So, Sharice, take care, big man's rap. James Kelly, Dinky Do. I'll play myself. <laughs> Scotty McClue has left the building. Dinky-doo, loves. <laughs>